men, I'm going to add women. Goodwill towards men and women. And that's where, the, that's where this stops. It says goodwill towards men. I want to point out something to you. Because there's two phrases here I want to draw your attention to. Fear not. The first angel says, Fear not, for behold, I will bring you good news of a great joy that will be for all the people. And then the other angels chime in and they say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth, good will towards men and women. But there's another text to this which is which they don't mention in this. The Savior of Jesus is open to everyone. That's what it says, for all people. But what it doesn't say is that only applies to people that believe in Jesus Christ. Goodwill towards men for those people um, that believe in Jesus. Alright. Now the shepherds, angels go away, and the shepherds dropped everything, and they took off. They left the sheep to fend for themselves. They figured they could handle it for one night. The shepherds didn't stop to ask directions. But because they're shepherds, they pretty much know where all the stables are in Bethlehem anyway. But they didn't know which stable he, um, they, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus were in. So they stopped along the way and said, hey, do you have a baby out back? Nope, not here. But it sounds interesting. Let me know what happens. Keep me posted. So they go on and they, maybe they pick up somebody along the way and go, man, it sounds interesting. I'm going to go tag along see what happens. And so they go to the next stable and so forth and so forth. And they start picking up people and they start spreading the word. They, they tell everybody what to happen to them out in the field and everyone kind of gets, gets, gets excited about that. And they said, okay, fine. You know, they finally... And they finally get to Joseph and Mary, and they tell them everything that happened. And sure enough, the baby is exactly as it was foretold by the angels. So now they know it's true. And Mary hears all this, and she stores it, she remembers it. And, and so Mary knows that all of this is true, because she's getting it directly from the shepherds, who died for God. Now the shepherds, on the way back, they stop at all the places they stopped on the way into town and said, hey, remember that story I told you about? It's true. Go check it out. And they start to spread the word of God, telling them that Jesus was born. All right. That's it. That's the whole, that's the whole story in a nutshell. But I got another question for you. Why did they choose the shepherds? Why didn't they ask the kings and the priests and the scribes? Today we call those scribes reporters. Why didn't we just tell the reporters to come over and do a, an article for tomorrow's paper? And then the reason for that is the shepherds are the common man. They're the everyday working man. Guess what? We are, we are the shepherds. We are the ones that know about Jesus Christ. We are the ones that are supposed to spread the word that Jesus is born. So, are you a shepherd? Do you spread the word that Jesus is born to save our souls and go to heaven with him? Thank God. Amen.
Father's splendor, the Father's visible image, Jesus Christ our God, peerless among counselors, Prince of Peace, Father of the world to come, the model after which Adam was born, for our sakes became like a slave in the womb of Mary the Virgin, without assistance from any man, ye took flesh. Enable us, Lord, to celebrate this illuminous feast in peace, forsaking all idle words, acting virtuously, shunning our passions, and raising ourselves above the things of this world. Bless your church, which you brought into being long ago, and attached to yourself through your own life-giving blood. Help all professional pastors, laity, and the theologians of your church. Bless your servants, whose trust is all in you. Bless all Christian souls, the sick, those tormented by evil spirits, and those who have asked us to pray for them. Show yourself as merciful as you are rich in grace. Save and preserve us. Enable us to obtain those good things to come, which shall have no end. May we celebrate your glorious birth, and the Father who sent you to redeem us, and your Spirit, the giver of life, evermore, one God, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Taught by our Father, and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.